Hall arrived with his new manager appointed only a few hours earlier. Elton John and Steve Harrison may seem an unlikely duo and they had little to sing about in the first half. Watford's best effort came from a free kick. Gary Porter proving a real rocket man with a stinging shot well held by Tony Norman. The headline writers were busy when Hull took the lead. Andy Payton and Alex Dyer figured in the move. Ex-Watford man Neil Williams finished it off. And the Watford gap appeared even larger two minutes later. Somehow Dyer wriggled into a shooting position and once he'd done that, he just couldn't miss. It looked the sort of dismal performance which typifies a first division club in trouble. And when a Ghana shot hit a post, Luther Blissett could have been renamed Luther Missit. Watford's luck changed with a little help from the ref. He saw fit to award a penalty when Blissett was pulled back and Kenny Jackett started the revival from the penalty spot. Then a magnificent long ball out of defence found Malcolm Allen and the substitute justified his new manager's tactical switch by driving an equaliser through the legs of pullback Heard. Both sides had chances to win it. Hull's Peter skipper thundered a header against the Watford crossbar. And poor old Blissett finished the night as he'd started it, making a dreadful hash of his chance of being a hero. So it ended all square, and so it's back down the yellow brick road for a second replay at Watford.